Hey everyone, we're here at Korg for a video overview tutorial series on the Korg Prolog Analog Synthesizer. This is Prolog 16 with 16 voices, but Prolog's also available in an 8 voice version. This video is going to focus on Prolog's filter. Prolog belongs to a family of Korg analog synths, including the Minilog, which had a very gentle filter, and the Monolog, which had a more aggressive, brutish, overdriven filter. And Prolog kind of offers the best of both worlds, because the filter is newly voiced for polyphonic play and has a huge, powerful low end, but can still be both gentle and aggressive. So I have a pretty simple pad sound pulled up on Prolog, and I'm going to sweep the filter to give you guys kind of an idea of what the filter's character is. In addition to doing really nice filter sweeps with beautiful pads, Prolog also has a really powerful low end in its filter. And I can demonstrate this by going to a initialized program and hitting a lower note and dropping the octave using the octave switch over here. And let's bring in a second saw wave oscillator so we have two saw waves in unison. And then let's just detune that slightly. So now we have a really nice, fat, slightly detuned unison saw wave in a low octave. And let's throw on some resonance and just kind of play with the filter a little bit to give you an idea of the character. So there's a couple additional features in the filter section of Prolog. And those are used for kind of utilizing Prolog's filter in all sorts of different ways. And one of those is a drive switch. And what that does is overdrive the signal from the oscillator section coming into Prolog's filter. So you have some additional bite and grit to the sound, especially in the high end with some upper frequency content. So let's do some filter sweeps, but add in some drive. Without. level one of drive, and then I have a second level of drive. There's also a low cut switch, which can cut out some lows if you need to make a muddy sound a little bit less muddy in the low end. And then the final switch is key track, and that's super useful if you want to, instead of using an oscillator as a sound source, play the filter itself as an oscillator. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to first go to an initialized program, and I'm going to turn all the oscillators down all the way in the mixer. And I'm going to turn the resonance on the filter all the way up. And then I'm going to kind of bring the cutoff to the middle here and turn the key track up to 100%. And I'll be able to play the filter as its own oscillator. In other words, self-oscillating. And it sounds even better if I add in a little bit of portamento, use the mono voice mode, so we're in monophonic mode, and just throw a little bit of reverb on there so I can get a self-oscillating lead. And then, of course, the filter can also be modulated by some of the modulation options we have on this side of Prolog. If I go to an initialized program and I just simply turn up the LFO intensity and target the cutoff, I can get some LFO modulation of the cutoff. And that's especially useful if I change to the square wave modulation on the LFO and go to fast mode crank it all the way up into the audio rate range and add some resonance. And then of course the filter can also be modulated with the envelope generator, the EG over here, and that's controlled by the EG intensity knob in the filter section. So if I have a, a pretty simple sound, I'm going to drop the octave, just have a saw wave, bring in a second saw wave to make it a little bit thicker. 
and I'll bring the cutoff down. And then the resonance up a little bit. And then add in some envelope generator intensity. So right now it's just a simple kind of decaying wave, but I'm going to add in a little bit of attack and make the decay longer and bring the sustain level up. So after that decays, it'll sustain at a level uh, that's higher than zero. So now I have kind of a funky bass sound with a little bit of resonance. And I can drive that. Super funky. So that's the Korg Prolog Analog Synthesizer. If you like this video or you have a question or you want to let us know about a cool sound you made on your Prolog, let us know in the comments below and remember to subscribe to the Korg YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching.